Hi friends, uh, it's been a while since I made a video so I was sitting and meditating out here by this beautiful waterfall in the place where I've been living and uh, I've just been thinking about a new concept and I wanted to share with everyone. So a lot about service and we hear that term thrown around selfless service. So in, in reality there's no such thing as selfless service. Uh, and when I first learned this, I, I kind of I disagreed strongly. Oh, that's, that's not true. There's, I can always do something that's not for someone else. But really, there's, there must still be some type of personal incentive for me to want to do something for someone else. So in terms of selfless service, when I say selfless service, I'm not serving my lower self. I'm serving my higher self. Most of the times when we do something, I'm trying to make money, I'm trying to impress a girl, I'm trying to do something, it's because I want to serve my lower self. I want to serve my ego. So when I take that lower self out of the way, I start to serve my highest self, serving the higher self, and uh, serving the divine in me, or serving God, or serving that aspect of me that is divine. And that's what I mean by selfless service. Uh, so I've been playing with uh, three types of service and the most important type of service is serving myself the most important thing I can do is take care of me when I'm trying to help someone uh, the most important person that I have to help is myself because if I don't take care of myself if I don't do my daily spiritual practice if I don't take care of my own needs I'm no good to help out anyone else and a lot of the times I see people and this includes me is I have to get out of the way of my own success. It's so easy to get caught up on an interpretation of our value. I won't do that because this is not right. Or I was brought up a different way. But when I get out of my own way, sometimes I see I'm so much closer and success comes so much faster than I could have ever imagined. So getting out of the way of our own success, big time. The second most important group of people we can help are those who ask for it. So when somebody comes and asks for help, it's really important that you give that person help because they've been humble enough and they see a quality in you that, that dictates they may be able to grow or they may be able to learn from your previous experiences. So anytime anyone specifically comes and asks for you for help, go for it and do it. And I mention this because of the third category is that people that don't ask for help. So a lot of times I would always want to try to help everyone. And because I'm trying to help everyone, I would forget the person who comes and asks me specifically for help. Because I'm, I'm trying to help everyone who's out there. So I, didn't, I misidentified the importance of the person who came to me and asked me for help. So let's get back to this third group, the people who don't ask for help. First of all, I believe true wisdom is allowing people to play their own game and not get in the way of it. For instance, a good example would be if somebody is in a, about to enter a relationship and you, you see, hey, this is going to end up really badly for you. But choosing to let the person learn, learn that lesson on their own. Because what happens is if we jump in and try to save somebody a little bit of suffering, we prevent them from learning their lesson. We all come into life with certain contracts. And sometimes we even make those contracts in our own lifetime. But if we get in the way of people and their lessons by trying to help them, by trying to be overly compassionate, we prevent them from learning. So for me, I really try to not help someone unless they expressively ask for it. Now again, if they come to my yoga class or if it's in a context where they're coming to me for help already, sure. And then the important thing is if there's someone that I really do want to help, I may ask and say, hey, look, can I help you? Is, is it okay if I give you a little bit of help in this instance? Can I give you some advice or can let's together maybe weigh some of the options and the potential pitfalls and the potential successes if you act a certain way? But I really encourage everyone to be very cautious about how you do help someone. And another way in that category that's beautiful is to help anonymously. 
someone is really having a hard time paying an electric bill, well, don't just give them the money for the bill. How about go and anonymously down to the electric company and pay the bill for them? What a way of taking ourselves and our own ego and our own gratification out of that process and helping someone. And wow, for them, what an amazing experience to just be anonymously helped. It's really a beautiful experience. So I just want everyone to think about the different ways of helping people. Most importantly, we must help ourselves so we can help others. And then the priority goes to those people who actually seek us out for help. And then finally, with great discernment, we help everyone else around us. A lot of times just by showing up and being our highest self and inspiring others. Perhaps by asking someone if they need help. And a great way is just by letting people play their own game and learn the lessons they came here to learn. So thanks for checking in. Thanks for uh, seeing this video. And I look forward to hearing what everyone thinks about it. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.